We have breaking news here in Hillsborough County. Deputies saying that these masked men could be connected to a string of ATM explosions, three of them here in the Tampa Bay area in as many months. Good evening, everybody. J.B. Buno here with you live on WFLA Now. Joining us here on the right side of your screen, eight on your side, reporter Ryan Hughes. Let's get you out right there to live. Ryan Hughes joining us live in the field. Ryan, what do we know about this story? JB, good afternoon to you. So we spoke to Sheriff Chad Cronister here at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office earlier today, and he tells me at this point that his investigators are looking into three explosions in the Bay Area. The first one happened back in November. That's being investigated by Pinellas County deputies in Oldsmar. When somebody put a device on an ATM outside a bank there, it went off in the middle of the night. Then in December, there was another incident at a pilot's bank on Limebaugh Avenue here in Hillsborough County. And then the third happened over the weekend sometime late Saturday, early Sunday morning at a Regions Bank in the Bloomingdale Brandon area. Somebody put a device on that ATM and it went off. And in that case, we're told the person or people actually got away with some cash. The sheriff at this point does not know how much money. But at this point, deputies are linking all three. They think all three are connected. They said there was a failed attempt at a fourth bank back in December. We're told that a device may have been put on an ATM there, but it did not go off. So they're looking at all four incidents, wondering who did this. And of course, the big question right now is why? Why would they go to such extreme measures uh, to attempt to get money? And then late today, roughly an hour ago or so, we got some surveillance photos. We can show those to you right now of two people who spray painted cameras at various banks here in Hillsborough County. They said these people may be connected to the explosions, but at this point, they cannot connect them fully or, or, or uh, connect them fully to uh, the three incidents. So of course, Jay be. This is a very fluid situation right now, all still under investigation by deputies here in Hillsborough County. Ryan, in your conversations here with Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, of course, it's extremely troubling when we have a rash of incidents like this, but uh, ATMs being blown up to get cash out of them, uh, pretty peculiar that all of this is happening over the last few months, when in reality, we haven't seen much activity like this in the last few years. What did, what did deputies have to say regarding the fact that we've had three ATM explosions in as many months? Well, the sheriff said that the person or people who is doing this obviously quite sophisticated. He also called the person brazen because the person is going up in the middle of the night, putting the device on the machine and then stepping away and using some sort of remote control uh, while he is near the machine to see it explode. Uh, the sheriff said his concern was that the person was just driving away from the scene and then detonating these, but he, he said he takes some solace in knowing that the person is at least watching the machine, perhaps so nobody drives up to it when it goes off, and then that's when the person is uh, pressing the trigger, if you will. Uh, but right now they have who is at least telling us of course, those photos that we're showing you from various ATMs around the Bay Area. One of the questions being asked, uh, Ryan, in, in the comment section, of course, when you're dealing with ATM explosions, uh, people trying to get away with cash, how much cash do we know, if we know, how much cash in each individual incident or really in total that they got away with? Do we have any idea? So no, at this point we don't. The first two of the three explosions, the sheriff said that uh, the culprit or culprits did not get away with any money. It was the third that the person got away with money. That was the one that happened in Valrico on Bell Shoals Road over this past weekend. Uh, the sheriff said he did not know exactly how much, but um, you can imagine if, if the ATM was just filled with money, it likely had tens of thousands of dollars inside, so that's a possibility. Uh, but again, that's under investigation. The sheriff not giving, the, giving us that specific figure when asked this morning. Is there any pattern that you've heard of, Ryan, when it comes to the three cases? And, and also, too, one of the questions that we're seeing here as well is, is what's being used to blow up, blow up these ATMs? I mean, or do we see any pattern or have deputies indicated to you that there's any pattern between the three? 
Well, I asked the sheriff if he could um, explain what type of device was being put on the ATMs. He didn't have an answer for that. Um, he did say the method that this person or people uh, is using is the same, and that's why they've been able to take uh, the incident from Pinellas in November, then the one here in Hillsborough in December, and then the latest one, which happened over the weekend. They're able to take those three and link them together at this point. They're quite confident that the same person is responsible. When it comes down to the specifics of that method, he's not revealing that information to us. Again, throwing up some of the photos here that were just released by the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Ryan, as far as what we know about the masked men that we see here, uh, how, how, I mean, we, we've obviously been listening to your reporting and you're saying that they are possibly connected to the ATM explosions, but maybe you could tell us, I mean, how much Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, how much deputies are relying on the public's help to hopefully identify them. And it can be a little bit hard, obviously, when you're dealing with pictures just yeah. showing the eyes being revealed, but they're hoping, obviously, that somebody sees something here in these photos that can lead them to a potential suspect or person of interest. Yeah, as you can see, those, the two people in those photos are clothed, so it's really difficult for deputies to even determine the race. You can simply see the eyes, but they have masks on and other clothing to make it uh, hard for somebody to identify them. But their hope is perhaps someone out there will be able to recognize something about the eyes, perhaps the size of the body, and even tip off deputies, and that may help them start to go down a certain road uh, and figure out who these people are. And I know that coming up, Ryan, at 5 o'clock, you have some details on a fourth location. What can people on News Channel 8 at 5 o'clock expect uh, in less than an hour from now? That was at a Chase Bank back on December 8th here in Hillsborough County. And we're told by a sheriff's spokeswoman that... Um, the cameras nearby, which has been really the MO in all of this, the cameras nearby were spray painted, but uh, the ATM did not explode. So they are looking at that as a fourth situation, a fourth event, but it did not uh, come to fruition like the other three. So we'll have more on that coming up tonight at 5. Hey everybody, eight on your sides. Ryan Hughes joining us live here in the Tampa Bay area. Ryan, thanks so much for your reporting. We'll see you at 5 o'clock. For those sure. of you joining us here on WFLA Now, be sure to check in to Ryan's reporting right now on the WFLA app and WFLA.com. Thanks so much, everybody, for being with us here with this breaking news update.